Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day or evening wherever you are. In today's story, OP came home two days early from a work trip to surprise his wife. What he then came home to was terrifying. He saw his wife in bed with her affair partner, but rather than confronting them, he recorded them for proof, then walked out and ghosted her. Now, she's history. Let's get into today's story to find out what happened. So, I went on a work trip for a week and told my partner of three years, X, that I was coming home on Sunday, but I had actually booked to fly in yesterday and take her on a surprise date for her birthday, which I otherwise would have missed. I messaged X happy birthday yesterday morning and asked what she was doing for the day, to which she replied she would be having a wine and movies night with her friend Y, who lives in our apartment block. I reiterated that I could not wait to be home on Sunday. She said she couldn't wait and that she loved me. It has been really hard to write and relive this, but when I got home, I parked out by the front of the building on the street, and when I walked through the code gate, I couldn't see lights on up by our balcony. I did see Y's lights on, so I assumed X would be at her place. I didn't even have to enter, as her place was on ground level, and I saw through her window she was on her couch watching TV alone. I figured maybe X was out, so I walked up our three flights of stairs, and as I approached the door, I could hear it, and my heart just sank. The sound of R&B music, moaning and knocking. The door wasn't even locked, and with the way it's positioned, opening the door gave a direct view of our bedroom. I just slightly opened the door and saw my girlfriend straddled on top of who I instantly recognized to be a guy from the gym we go to. I think what stood out to me more was that it looked like it was unprotected sex, as I could see everything. I quietly closed the door and my soul just felt like it floated out of me. I knew they never heard me or noticed the door. I sat on the step for a good five minutes to process. This has always been my worst nightmare, but to literally have it play out exactly how I dreaded, another man in our bed just gripped at the heart. I couldn't cry as it felt so surreal. Was this really happening? Was I dreaming? The continued sounds quickly brought me back to earth. I got up and walked out of the building and towards the front gate. Why had spotted me through the window and called out to me and waved, gesturing for me to come over. I do get along very well with her, and in the past, she had told X how highly she thought of me as a friend too. She had also openly told X that she found me attractive and asked if I had single friends who are also my nationality from New Zealand. There had always been chemistry between us the first time I met Y, but that always stayed buried in my mind. I put on a brave face and walked into her apartment. We hugged and she asked what I was doing home early. I told her I had dates mixed up and wasn't she supposed to be having birthday drinks with X? She seemed confused and told me that X said she was going out for drinks with some of our gym friends. Go figure. I instantly burst out in tears and cried for what felt like forever. And she got quite worried, asking what was wrong, did something happen to me, etc. I struggled for words but blurted out that I had just walked in on the two of them in our bed. Her face turned so white and she just hugged me and started to cry too. She knew I was a joker, but I think she knew this was no joke. I just started talking out of frustration, saying that I didn't know what to do, that they could be up there all night and that this was my nightmare. We had no issues in our relationship other than her lack of interest in sex once every six weeks. It's a wonder I lasted three years with her, and I had accepted that a long time ago. Why laughed through her tears and told me she had always been single and not had sex the entire time she knew me, and joked that maybe we could both use it. That actually made me laugh a bit too, and I hugged her, thanked her, and for a second forgot X was upstairs cheating on me. I asked her if I could stay there for the night as I had nowhere to go, and I slept on the couch. I am still here a day later. I watched the guy leave in the morning and watched in tears when he came back this evening. I'm supposed to be home tomorrow afternoon. I haven't texted X all day, but she hasn't texted me either. Truth be told, the only comfort I have now is with Y. How do I deal with X? Do I walk up there and interrupt? Do I call? Firstly, I want to thank everyone for their views, opinions, and advice. I'm still trying to keep up with reading the comments. I appreciate those saying I should have had a backbone or spine. To be honest, I'd be saying the same things to someone else. 
This is my first experience with infidelity, so it was easier to judge until it actually happened to me. Anywho, before I tell you what has happened today, I will answer a few questions. Me. I have my own business and run it end-to-end by myself. I travel maybe three times a year to meet with production facilities and do quality checks for my product. Physically, I'm six foot six, 124 kilogram, and I play rugby and have done a lot of boxing, so I can definitely defend myself. However, I do not go around using that. I absolutely tower over that piece of crap guy in every way. I earn a very comfortable living, as does X, so a split will not financially cripple either of us. And we're not married. The tears have been shed. I realize this was a blessing in disguise, and I know what I need to do. Apartment. We split all the bills 50-50 and have four months and a week left on a year-long lease, which has both our names on it. We had been actively looking for a home to buy. I guess I dodged a bullet there. Why? What a woman. Aside from her personality, she is absolutely gorgeous. How she is and always has been single, I will never know. And she has not been intimate with anyone in over three years, according to X. She has been on my side through it all without saying a cruel word about X. She understands it was a bad thing to do towards me and that it does not involve her. That being said, she has said once X inevitably owns up to it, she will likely stop being friends with her. She has not tried to come on to me like a rebound and has just been super supportive. That alone speaks volumes to her character. X works in a hospital and is very attractive. Nice woman, but can be quite self-centered. In hindsight, we were basically just friends. We have only ever had protected sex because she does not want to get pregnant or go on the pill. And it was once in a blue moon. I guess I just accepted it and got too comfortable in the relationship being what it was. I'm just trying to get my head around how she never even showed signs that she was cheating. I know I'm not perfect, but I have always been good to her, always cooked for her, and did a lot around the house. We went on dates regularly. I told her things about her to make her feel loved, and I always got brushed off after what I thought was a good night. I now question why. If she didn't want me, why did she stay for so long? My plan. I intended to call her this morning to say my flight would be leaving earlier and that could she pick me up at the airport earlier. With the airport being a 40-minute drive away, I would use this time to go up and pack all of my things and rush them to my car. Y said I could put some of it in her spare room. Once X noticed my things missing, she would try to call me, message me, etc., and I would simply respond with a photo of the two of them in bed. After reading comments, I decided the cruelest punishment for her would be to have no closure. I would explain to the property manager my circumstances and go and stay with a friend until I could find a new place. X could cover the rent. She could certainly afford it. I do have the option to stay with Y, but that is way too close to X, and I do not want to do anything with Y that could ruin our friendship, even though I know her and I are inevitable. The Outcome I went up very early in the morning and very quietly opened the door. Fortunately, they were asleep on the bed, so I took a photo of them, but it was weird. I almost felt guilty about violating privacy when my entire relationship was violated. I did not feel sad anymore, just angry and betrayed. I noticed his shoes on the floor next to my various, much larger pairs. I decided to take a photo of those and use it first. I figured it would be a more subtle way that she would likely lie about until I hit her with the photo of them in bed. I went back down to Y's and waited around for another hour or so until I was certain X would be awake. I tried to call but got no answer, and twice again to no answer. I looked at Y and we both just knew what was happening. After about a half hour, she called me and sounded very much awake and like everything was very much normal. I tried to put on my normal voice and told her my flight was leaving two hours earlier than I thought. I asked if she could collect me at 1 p.m. She said yes and that she loved me, that she was at her parents for breakfast, and that they said hello. Lie. On that note, her parents love me and will be broken about this. I went and laid down for a few hours to run through what I would get from the apartment. Other than clothes and a few appliances, most of my stuff was already boxed, as I knew that if we bought a house, I wanted an easy move. Around midday, I saw X go down to the car park, and I gave it a few minutes after she left before I moved my car and went upstairs. It smelled like air freshener, and I noticed new sheets and covers on the bed. 
All the dishes were done. She went to every length to cover up that anyone else had ever been there. It took me all but ten minutes to gather all of my things. If I forgot anything, I probably didn't care about it. It did feel weird knowing it would be a goodbye to the place I called home, but I felt strong. X sent me a message asking where I was as she was at the arrivals area. I replied and said I was held up and that I would Uber home. Maybe an hour later, a bunch of missed calls and messages came in asking where all of my stuff was and if something had happened. My heart nearly beat out of my chest when I sent the photo of the shoes saying, these aren't my size. She had the audacity to reply saying that they were her brothers from when he picked her up to go to mom and dad's. Did I not say she would pull something like that? I didn't even want to discuss it, but I knew she was cornered. So I sent the photo of them in bed and I left it at that. She did not even try to call. I was expecting a wave of calls or texts. In my eyes, that was me leaving her. And I know I could have called her out or caught them in the act and confronted them, but I wanted her to know I knew and that she would never be able to know how or explain herself. I will not tarnish her name as it is not in my nature, and I do not want to ruin her life. But she can live with this forever, although I doubt she has a conscience. I have left Wise as I know X will be down to see her soon, and I'm at my friends nearby collecting today's rundown to relay to you all. If it were not for Y, this would have been a lot harder, but I know she will sever her friendship with X in the next day or two. I am doing well and looking ahead. This hurt at first, but I'm glad I found out now and not after we bought a home. I have sent an email to the property manager informing her of our sudden split and that she would be covering the rent until the lease ended and that she could keep the bond. I think the pain for X will be when Y and I begin our inevitable relationship. Good for you, OP. Glad to hear that you didn't tolerate any of the crap your ex has put you through and have immediately moved on. You do not need to give her any kind of closure whatsoever. She needs to suffer the consequences for her actions and the pain she has caused you. If I were you, I would not get involved with why right now. I feel like it is too early for you to do that. Instead, I would call your friends and family, tell them everything that happened, and ask if you can stay with them temporarily for the time being. If you're on a lease with her, then contact your landlord and tell them what happened so that you can get taken off. I wish you the best with your situation, OP. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's story. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and comment below on what your thoughts are on today's story. If there's a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's, then please do not hesitate to contact me. Take care, everyone.